Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and I gotta say, 2021 has been an interesting year if you are a Game Maker developer, and if you've never actually used Game Maker, it's probably never been more accessible than it is now, because of a series of stories that have happened this year. Now, first off, to start the year, back in January, uh, Yo-Yo Games, the creators of Game Maker, were sold to Opera. You may have heard of Opera, most known for making the product, also known as Opera. Uh, a very kind of um, niche, I suppose you could say, uh, web browser, but ironically enough, as we will find out later on, one that I like. On top of that, uh, so they were bought back in January, and so then the changes really started to happen. Back in June, they made Game Maker Studio a free version. Now, you couldn't actually create a distributable application with this, but otherwise, it was the same version that everybody else used, minus the high-performance compiler. So you could use it to learn Game Maker, kind of get your... Um, you know, your fingers dirty, learning how to everything work, uh, but obviously you couldn't use it to publish a game. I always thought this was a little strange that they didn't make the HTML publishing free, given that, you know, they're owned by a browser company and all of that. And then in a final piece of news, one that is, I guess we could say, a little bit more polarizing, because a lot of people do not like subscriptions, uh, they dropped their pricing, which is yay, and they went to a subscription-only model, which is not so yay. Uh, so they introduced indie and enterprise publishing there, the big thing between indie and enterprise was the ability to export for consoles. Again, I did find it very strange that at this stage in time, they did not make web export part of the free version because they are a browser company. And their number one kind of synergy here is their Opera GX browser, which is aimed at gaming. So you'd think that they would make Game Maker HTML publishing a free thing. By the way, what you are seeing, this is me using Opera. And not just for this video, I've actually been using Opera for quite some time. We'll get back to that again in a minute. Well, today's announcement just came out, and uh, there's a couple of things going on here. First off, uh, Opera have launched Opera Gaming, and they have a new self-publishing platform, GXC. Uh, GXC is basically kind of like a web portal, sort of like a Newgrounds or a, um, oh, they're not all coming to me, you know what I mean, an HTML5 gaming web portal uh, where you can do one-click launch of your product directly from Game Maker Studio. So that is the, the gist of it. The company is launching a new self-publishing platform called GXC. GXC will provide game creators with faster feedback for early stage games as well as a one-click publishing from Game Maker Studio to Opera GX's growing gaming community. Uh, game creators can join and um, an early bird competition with $45,000 worth of prize pools. By the way, that's split up as $45,000, $1,000 prizes. Uh, it's the next move in the gaming world, opening up its new free self-publishing platform, GXC, to game creators. Move builds upon the success of the fast-growing community of Opera GX users and follows the recent licensing model change, uh, making it free to develop games using Game Maker Studio 2. Game creators can now also publish their games to Opera GX. This enables creators to, build, to faster build and gain feedback back from a highly engaged audience. Uh, since they made Game Maker Studio free this summer, we've been seeing a surge in interest, more than triple the amount of new downloads. Now we want to take the next step by enabling game creators to quickly validate ideas for their new game, shortening time to market. Uh, from today, creators can immediately start publishing content uh, that will soon reach millions of Opera GX users. Now, if you've never used Opera GX before, you've actually got some uh, game-related stuff in here. Mostly, it's on the performance side of things. The things I'd like Opera GX for, to be honest, have nothing to do with gaming. I like their workspaces for organizing things together, uh, but they do have tools in here for limiting the amount of uh, processor or memory each particular task uses, uh, running very slowly for some reason, and then we have Opera GX Corner over here, and this, I think, is going to be the heart blood of uh, GXC. This is sort of their deal aggregator and so on. There's going to be a new category down here of uh, HTML games you can publish for free directly from Game Maker Studio. I don't know where they'll go beyond that. There's no financials actually discussed today, so it's going to be interesting to see where that ends up going. There's also, again, the... Uh, Community Showcase Competition, you have a chance to win one of 45 $1,000 prizes across nine categories, the categories you can see there. Uh, game creators are allowed to keep tweaking their games during the competition. The jury consists of people basically at Game Maker and at Opera. Uh, the competition opens today and will be open for submissions until October the 11th. 
Um, GXC as the next step for Opera Gaming. Opera established Opera Gaming to build synergies between the world's first browser for gamers, Opera GX, and Game Maker Studio game development engine, as well to work on new ventures in the gaming space. Currently launched in beta, GXC will be the first instance of the synergy connecting indie gamers with the fast-growing Opera GX audience of more than 10 million gamers. Uh, platform will enter beta stage in the coming weeks and will be available to, available to a wider audience then. And then some blah, blah, blahs about both Opera and um, Game Maker down below. Also, some more details here about the showcase. Um, if you want to get into there, the contest rules are available. So if you really want to dig into the details, the details are available here. I don't really feel like reading legalese today, so I'm not going to get into the details here, but I will have this in the linked article if you want to check out and learn more. Uh, GXC itself is pretty bare bones right now. It's available at gxc.gg, uh, and this is kind of the extent of it right now. So this is the launch page. If you want to get started as a developer, uh, you can head on over to here and basically uh, create an account. And that's that's kind of the extent of it. So this is where you would go if you want to apply to the, uh, uh, the competition, which again, you can learn more about on the Game Maker blog. Uh, right here, including existing games, by the way, or um, you can learn in the linked article I did down below. So that is GXC, a new platform uh, for web games. It'll be interesting again to see how monetization works here. Right now, the only thing we know about monetization is that there's this prize of um, this $45,000 prizes. But if this is a viable way for people to start making money from their titles, that is interesting. The nice thing again here is that it is the free tier of Game Maker that is capable of publishing. Which, by the way, the Indian Enterprise tier should also be able to publish. It's not just limited to the free version. But the free people will be able to publish their games up to the Opera platform, which actually gives you another alternative for uh, letting other people play your games. Because that's kind of the, the tragic downside of the free tier right now, is there's no way to actually share your game other than as you know, raw assets that people would open in their own version of Game Maker. And that's not going to work for most people. So now you've got the ability to actually publish games from the free version up to uh, Opera GX's new GXC. Uh, so it does give you a way to share things. It's going to be interesting to see if there is a monetization here, uh, if this is going to be another viable way of making money. Because it used to be back in the day, people made all kinds of funds out of um, web portals, places like Newgrounds and all the other things. I can't think of the name right now. Uh, that was actually a pretty lucrative area for smaller indie developers for quite a while. It went away to a certain degree, uh, but it'd be interesting to see if that kind of market could come back. Um, again, it, it, the applications are open right now. I think it was October the 31st that the end, the prize, the, um, yeah, until October the 30, sorry, October the 11th, not the 31st. Uh, the winners will be announced on the 30th, however. So you've got until October the 11th to submit your game. If you've already created or are creating a game in Game Maker, hey, it's uh, a nice way to go. Now, do, of course, be sure to read the uh, the legalese and the fine print and find out, you know, the grant of rights and all that stuff to see what you're actually giving up if you participate. And by the way, as I mentioned earlier on, uh, Opera GX is actually my daily driver. Now, this isn't a video about Opera GX, but it actually is a legit, nice, fun-to-use browser. Uh, I, it's my daily driver since I did a video back on it in January 2021. So if you want to check that one out, uh, since then, I keep using it. So quite obviously, I actually like the browser. Plus, I kind of want to move away from Google stuff. I don't like Chrome that much anymore. Google has too much of an influence on my life already as I'm publishing this up to YouTube. You get an idea of what I'm talking about. So it's nice to move to a different company's tools, even if they have their own baggage. Every company has their own baggage. Uh, but Opera GX, it, it's... Uh, it's a nice product. Uh, I actually like it as a browser, and it is actually what I use. Check out any video from the last four or five months, and you'll see, generally, it's Opera GX that I'm using. So, uh, you know, regardless of the rest of this, uh, checking out Opera GX is actually worthwhile. It's a nice, nice tool. And it's going to be interesting to see how GXC ends up being. Um, yeah, that's it. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of Game Maker. Let me know what you think of Opera. And let me know what you think of a new web publishing platform and what you'd like to see from them for you to actually consider using it. And that's it. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.